Hello everyone, I am Carl Erwin Sukim and in this video we are going to learn a little bit about the armed conflict in the international humanitarian law. As an introduction, we are going to examine what is an armed conflict, what are the types of armed conflict and how is the international humanitarian law applied in these two types of conflict. Let's look at the definition of an armed conflict. According to the ICRC, an armed conflict exists whenever there is a resort to armed forces between states or protracted armed violence between governmental authorities and organized armed groups or between such groups within a state. An international armed conflict is a conflict between one or more states having recourse to armed force against another state. The reason or intensity of the confrontation do not matter and IHL is applicable even in the absence of open hostility. There is no formal declaration of war or recognition of the situation needed. The existence of an international armed conflict depends on the actual situation. Now let's look at what is a non-international armed conflict. The common Article 3 to the 1949 Geneva Conventions and Article 1 of the 1977 Additional Protocol 2nd defines non-international armed conflict as a conflict between governmental forces and non-state actor groups or between such armed groups only. Now there is a certain threshold of a situation or a confrontation to be considered a non-international armed conflict. First, the hostilities must reach a minimum level of intensity. Military forces instead of police forces are deployed. Non-state actor groups involved in conflict must be recognized as parties to the conflict that is possessing organized armed groups. Hardware weapons are utilized and there is a regularity of exchange of fire between conflict parties and there is a considerable length of time or duration of the confrontation among the armed groups. Let us further examine what is a non-international armed conflict. The Article 1 of Additional Protocol 2, 1977, provided a narrow definition of a non-international armed conflict. A non-international armed conflict involved non-state actor groups in territorial control and governmental forces need to be involved for a conflict to be considered a non-international armed conflict. What is the difference between a non-state actor group versus banditry? A non-state actor group carries a political agenda and a non-state actor group has a minimum level of organization and its members or its fighters wear a uniform to identify themselves and as a result internal disturbances and tensions or riots or acts of banditry are excluded from the definition of a non-international armed conflict. What is the application of the international humanitarian law in international armed conflict and non-international armed conflict. In international armed conflict, the four Geneva Conventions are applicable and the additional protocol one is also applicable. Other than that, customary international humanitarian law for international armed conflict are also applicable. For a non-international armed conflict, the common article three of the Geneva Conventions are, uh, are for non-international armed conflict, the common article 3 for the Geneva Conventions are applicable. Uh, we also have the additional protocol 2, 1977, also applicable to a situation of non-international armed conflict. And like the international armed conflict, customary international humanitarian law for a non-international armed conflict are also applicable. In conclusion, international armed conflicts exist whenever there is resort to armed forces between 
two or more states. Whereas for a non-international armed conflict, it is protracted armed confrontations occurring between governmental armed forces and the forces of one or more armed groups or between such groups arising on the territory of a state. It doesn't involve another state. And the armed confrontation must reach a minimum level of intensity and the parties involved in the conflict must show a minimum of organization for the conflict to be considered a non-international armed conflict. Thank you very much and I hope you learned something from this video.